trusted aide of the Wayne County executive, but today Michael Grundy had to face a federal magistrate where he was arraigned on charges that include receiving kickbacks and extortion. 7 Action News investigator Heather Catala was the first to report the FBI was after Grundy. Heather joins us live in the newsroom with the latest on this case, Heather. Diana, Michael Grundy is free on bond, but one of the big items up for discussion today in court was whether or not he should be allowed to talk to other witnesses in the Wayne County corruption case. On his way out of federal court, former assistant Wayne County executive Michael Grundy refused to answer questions. No comment. Hours earlier inside the court, Grundy faced a magistrate to be arraigned on 25 federal charges, including extortion, wire fraud, conspiracy, and obstruction of justice. Before County Executive Robert Facano fired Grundy in November, Grundy was the executive director of Health Choice of Michigan. According to this grand jury indictment, Grundy conspired with his longtime friend Keith Griffin to enrich themselves with money that was supposed to be used to provide low-cost health care to the people of Wayne County. In 2009, Griffin set up a company called Advertise Me LLC and then invoiced Wayne County Health Choice for more than $1 million. Federal prosecutors say the invoices were inflated and Grundy received kickbacks from those payments. The grand jury indictment also alleges Griffin incorporated another company called Medtrix LLC. Grundy asked that $400,000 be transferred to Medtrix to develop an electronic medical record system for health choice, even though another company was already doing that work. Federal prosecutors say Grundy used his position with the county to enrich himself by using deception and fear to extort a local health care company. Seven Action News first reported in November that the FBI had met with the CEO of ProCare Plus to investigate allegations she had been pressured to provide thousands of dollars in kickbacks to Grundy. We intend to defend Mr. Grundy. We intend to oppose the charges. We believe that he has not done anything wrong and uh, we will fight for him. As part of the conditions for granting Grundy's $10,000 unsecured bond, the magistrate wanted to make sure Grundy wasn't talking to other witnesses in the Wayne County corruption investigation. Grundy's attorney, William Swore, was concerned that witness list could continue to grow, making that condition too difficult for his clients. So the government has agreed that we will narrow down what they are concerned about and uh, we'll agree on it. We, we don't have any problem. We want this to be appropriate. We want it to be fair for both sides and we want the truth to come out. Mr. Swore isn't commenting tonight on whether Grundy plans to cooperate with the federal government, nor is he commenting on whether Grundy's friend, Keith Griffin, is going to testify against Grundy. But it is interesting that Griffin is named in Grundy's indictment, but so far Griffin has not been charged. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News.